Okay, I want to give you an update. This is uh, my uh, queen incubator. Uh, I did a YouTube video on this uh, uh, earlier in the year uh, when I was uh, building it. And uh, this is a little demonstration of it in action. Um, this is the second or third generation. So I finally got it the way I like it and it seems to work very well. Um, the bottom portion here is the heating element. There's a display here. When the light comes on, that means that it's actually uh, the heating elements on. I have a Ranco display. It's set at 92 degrees, um, plus or minus one degree, so it works very well for that. Um, I also have an independent uh, temperature and humidity uh, uh, to um, track and make sure the Ranco is doing its job, and it's at 92.5 degrees. 48% relative humidity. Uh, it's nothing fancy, but just a piece of half inch insulation board uh, for the uh, top for it. Didn't make any fancy lid or anything. And uh, so, but uh, you may ask, why do you need a queen incubator? Well, you really don't need one uh, unless you're going to use a cloak board method. Uh, if you're using a cloak board method, which I prefer, um, it's uh, more efficient and if you don't use a uh, incubator you got to use an incubator hive uh, because the queen cells are very exposed in the cloak board method versus say the Larry Connor method uh, you can get by with uh, just one uh, hive there um, I've done it tried to do it with one hive before and had disastrous results um, so I had to switch over and use an incubator hive but that means you tie up two hives versus one so I decided to make it myself an incubator and that's why I came up with this. So I'll give you a look inside now. Uh, take off the lid and okay, here's the look at the inside. There's my humidity control. Basically it's just a medium frame and open cells, fill it with water. That little thing in the back here, that's the temperature sensor. And also have an independent humidity and temperature sensor. And here's the queen cells. Okay, we got 27 cells here. Uh, these will be ready in a few days. Actually, will be ready on Monday for installation in a nuke. And uh, it's uh, 27 out of 33 were accepted. These are, um, by the way, these are um, direct daughters of a, a VSH Carniolan Queen that was artificially inseminated by VP Queens. Um, so anyway, I give you a little rundown on the Queen Incubator and how it works. That's it.